Oh, hey. Kill, you're finally here. Yeah, finally. What time do you call this? I call it a l -l 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 late o'clock. That's really, really lame. Holy hell. Um, we're just going to pretend that was never said. Cool? Cool. All right. So, uh, yeah. You want to come inside? Okay. I don't know why you wouldn't. You, you show up here and it's not like you want to stand outside indefinitely. Anyway, right, okay. You'd think I'd be better at this, but no, apparently. Well, what with writing all the scripts I write, you'd think I'd be better at, you know, talking. Which is a different skill, but you know what I mean. In this sort of context with the whole kind of, aha, we're dating thing and, you know, understanding the the mechanics of such an event as yes so um uh where do you come from no i know that um why no no why are you here that's rather obvious as well um would you like to take over the conversation maybe no you're you're, <laughs> you're enjoying this too much okay that's that's helpful um do you want to look over some scripts Idea. I, I has idea. Script you look at. Me run. You do script read. Me not no read. Me caveman. I yes. Um Okay, but you know. Let us um how about we think about, you know, kind of scripts and scenarios and stuff like that? Because... Well, I don't know. I guess it's something to talk about a little bit, I guess. Something we're both interested in, which helps. Also, you know, I've kind of been having some trouble, I guess. Well... So people will suggest things, but at the end, the problem with people suggesting things is that I kind of need an idea in my head as to exactly what that story would look like. And without that, it's really, really hard to force myself to try and come up with a story for a scenario I don't really click with, if you know what I mean. So then people will be like, oh, can you do a video about this? And I'll be like, well, no. <laughs> Because I don't really have an idea about that. And sure, I could use someone else's script, I guess. But I don't know, it kind of... It just doesn't really... Feel right to me, I guess. And it's not that other people can't use scripts or whatever. I just don't want to. So... To me, it's like... This is me in some way connecting to the viewer, right? In an increasingly meta and obvious way at the same time and so if the whole goal is to kind of connect to the viewer in some way then using someone else's words kind of defeats the point to me and that doesn't have to be people's goal but you know or it's not even necessarily mine it's just it's part of this for me for me you know not doesn't have to be for anyone else just for me but yeah, I've been struggling to come up with scripts real <laughs> with scripts lately, and it kind of makes me. I go into this weird cycle, right, where I'm like creatively run dry, and I just can't come up with good ideas. So then, yeah, I'm really trying to come up with good ideas, and if I haven't come up with a good idea, or like a lot of good ideas, really then I kind of feel, I don't want to say guilty, but kind of... Like, 
like I don't deserve, not deserve. I can't do the kind of nice interaction before I have my, my, you know, stuff in order. Does that make sense? Like I can't do the whole, you know, talking to people, answering their comments and that sort of thing. If I haven't got my stuff together, um, cause it feels like my first duty to the people who watch my stuff is having content and if I don't have content like ready to go that I'm confident about then I kind of feel behind and so when I feel behind my whole, whole focus is like okay I need to get content I need to think of something I need to you know come up with scenarios and da 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 so until that happens I sort of feel <laughs> wrong to just have nice chats and the thing is that I'm sure the people commenting wouldn't see it that way and they you know a lot of them say oh you know don't over push yourself or whatever but to me it's like I as I say I feel a responsibility to them you know so I really want to do the best I can possibly do and part of that is having ideas and having ideas is a lot more difficult than it maybe was before but then this is the thing is that how do you make these videos interesting every time you know because like okay you can cycle through different professions in theory and tell stories about the professions kind of and really when you think about these audios right like this kind of style of storytelling you've got to fill a decent part of it up with not you know kissy face kissy face baker's man it's gotta be substantial in some way right it's gotta feel or at least for me i wanted to feel like a real relationship a real person a real dialogue and so part of that is that hey people are not you know one dimensional i'd like to kiss you well i'd like to kiss you <laughs> there's more to people than that so yeah the person both people really in the story should have more to them than just me kissy face. So it's like, well, what else is there to this character? Are they, you know, what are the good things? What are the bad things? Are they big fans of something? Are they passionate about a certain hobby or their profession? Are they, you know, flawed in terms of a lack of self-confidence or jealousy or you know what's going on with this person right and again I just haven't I think ultimately I struggle with the feeling that I don't want to just sit and rehash the same stories over and over and over you know and I feel like I've, I could very much do that I could make the same videos basically like minorly change the plot have essentially the same sort of story arc dress it up in different ways over and over and to be fair probably do better view wise and that sort of thing but again it feels like, like a shortcut or like it's disingenuous in some way but then that's almost kind of putting myself before the audience right because on the one hand, there's the audience who might actually just want a very simple, straightforward, kind of, we've seen it before, we'll see it again, but this is a comforting thing to us right now. Maybe that is what people want. So, you know, it's, it's, it's waking up in your best friend's hoodie or something, you know, and you kind of like, you ever see the, uh, <laughs> You ever see the South Park episode about the Family Guy writers? There's a joke where they basically say that Family Guy jokes are written by manatees that move balls into like a slot. And various balls of various kind of properties, like a celebrity's name or an activity or something. And kind of, like, kind of like a lottery machine, it goes, you know, oh, like Mexico eating contest Gary Coleman or something like that. And it's like, oh... And it's like, that's the perfect family joke. I can see it now. And it's like a cutaway joke. Ah, oh, that's nothing compared to the time I was at an eating contest in Mexico with Gary Coleman. It's kind of like that to me. This is a very long-winded way of saying what I'm trying to say. But it's kind of like you could 
put in the same sort of character archetypes, the same stories or same st basic storylines and various kind of locations or professions or, you know, whatever. Like, it's like character archetype, basic story, and then character interest point, whether it be the profession, whether it be the relationship to the to the character, you know, they're speaking to, whatever it is. And you could just endlessly cycle like different variations of the same thing, you know? And you could do that, but it's very as I say, it's very like one dimensional feeling stories in the end to me, because they don't feel like a person talking to you. They feel like exactly what they are, a character archetype. And to me, that's very see-through. So I don't really want to do that, you know? I want to come up with videos that are still fulfilling in some way, but also explore areas that maybe other people don't want to explore and have meta jokes and infinite fourth wall breaks and... You know, where people, it almost blurs the lines between reality and fiction, right? What is me just talking to the viewer and what is the character? Do they even know anymore? Kind of thing. Because it's fun and it's interesting and it's... Underexplored territory, I feel like. Hmm? Oh, Ramble King does it all the time. Oh yes, Lord Ramble King, yes, amazing guy you like so much. Establishing jealousy? What do you mean establish? I'm not, I'm not jealous. I'm not establishing anything. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know, it feels like I'll, I'll talk to you about this stuff and we both enjoy it and understand the medium, right? And then you'll kind of it seems I always bring this Ramble King guy up instead of... I don't know, it's not that you have to bring me up or bring anyone else up. I don't know, it just seems like you're more... <laughs> I guess you're more interested in him than me, so... Okay, fine, I'll admit to... Not jealousy, but I guess I just, I just wish you... You know, talked about my channel in those sorts of terms, because... I work really hard on it, you know, so I wish I got, I wish I was as enjoyed by you, but again, you're not obligated to, <laughs> to like me that much or to listen to my stuff with the same sort of vigor, right? I'm sure this guy's really good. If you're this fond of him, he must be good, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I can't say I really heard of him until you brought him up. And how many subs does he have? Hmm. How long has this channel been going? And how many videos as you made roughly uh -huh. well it's <laughs> I just know there are channels that have grown a lot quicker you know so I feel like if he was really all that good he'd have grown quicker but I I'm just saying I'm just saying you know I've seen channels hey I saw a, a female channel right I had, think I had like 10 videos and I had 450,000 subscribers. And this girl just like rocked up, posted 10 videos in the space of about two months, stopped making videos. And she's uber popular for some reason, it's really weird. But the point is that, you know, like... I'm just saying if this guy was so great, he'd be... even more popular. I guess I can't say popular because, you know... I'm a smaller channel than him, so. But then for me, it's just like, I'm, I'm not making anywhere near the number of videos he's making, right? <laughs> you said he makes his own stuff, right? I wonder if he ever gets writer's block. 
Yeah, well... I guess I could appreciate that much. Although, I don't know, he's big enough where... He probably really should start trying to get some people to help him write stories, to be honest. Like, he's done how many videos, did you say? Jesus. All of that himself. That is, uh... Huh. I've not done any, anywhere near that much, and, um... It's a scary thought. But, hey... Uh, maybe it's like me, maybe it's his... idea of a duty to the people who watch him. Maybe that's what keeps him going in the end. I, we're speculating. Why are we still talking about this guy? Look, I, I, I'm sorry. I've made this kind of date really a little bit all about me <laughs> again. And God, I really like you. And you will sit and actually listen to me just wittering on about, about my channel, about this other channel you like, about all this stuff. And uh, you're just really easy to talk to, you know? I really, really like you, and it's nice to be seen, I guess, for more than the shell I put on, for more than the academically confident sports boy who's going to achieve everything and, you know, be all super popular because he's this, that, and the other. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm popular because I don't really do anything or say anything or let any sort of actual personality out, you know? I just toe the line and tell the odd joke, and people like that. But you're the only person I feel like I can really be myself around. And that means a lot to me. Hmm? If this were a script, what would happen now? What do you mean? If it were one of my scripts, how would this date continue from here? Well... I'm a sucker for, uh, you know, a lot of emotional talking that ends with this. Yeah. If this were my script, it would go just like that. <laughs> 